Hello, I'm Dr. Ron Melmed. I'm a developmental pediatrician in Phoenix, Arizona. And I'd like to talk a little bit about children with language delays and the differential diagnosis of concerns when a child presents to your office with a language concern. Certainly one of the most important things we can do for any one of these children is to ensure that they're hearing. And that's something I think pediatricians are very well equipped to do. And every time you leave a well child check, you should feel comfortable after you've left the room to saying, yes, that child can hear very well. There might be other causes of language delays as well. For example, there might be oral motor concerns, and the child might have difficulties with actually pronouncing or planning their mouth movements correctly. There might be salivary pooling, there might be drooling, there might be difficulty in the younger child under the age of three in puckering up for a kiss or in sipping from a, in drinking from a straw. There might be other concerns such as that. That might be more of a motor concern, and that would, be, would lead us for, to a different kind of differential diagnosis. The concern is, however, that there might be either a primary language disorder or that the language delays might be a sign of autism spectrum disorder. When we think about children with autism spectrum disorder, though, we think about children who have difficulty not purely with communication, but with social communication, where they do not have poor eye contact, they are unable to take turns, they do not have reciprocal smiles. Those are problems which are typically seen in children with autism. So if a child can pay attention to you, does have good eye contact, does have good nonverbal behaviors, is able to point to something that they want, is able to share with you something which they see outside of themselves, then I think we can be comfortable that the child's presentation is not prototypical of autism, but rather of a child with a language delay. We ensure that they're hearing properly, and of course a referral to a speech and language therapist would be very important at that time.